Hello, Grandma DC here. I'm talking a little quiet because my son's asleep in the other room. <laughs> well, I had a request from one of the um, girls in my support group, and that was that she wanted to make a hamburger. Of course, that comes up pretty quick. And I said, well, I've got and pancakes. She's missing pancakes. I said, well, that's, nothing could be easier. So um, I just wanted to show you today. I'm, I'm going to show you the finished product, but then I'm going to show you how to make the mix. Just a real quick one. This is uh, the finished product. She can put a hamburger on this and eat it. This is a plain one. Um, I just made this with uh, no flavorings, uh, just salt. And that would be good to put something on. Now these I made the same way, but I added um, some heavy whipping cream to them and erythritol and vanilla, you know, and then, then you got a pancake. So what I'm going to show you is how to get the basic powdered recipe and you can take it with you and then all you have to do is add your fats, which is a couple of tablespoons of butter, a couple of eggs, and some water. And you're set. Okay. First I would say get yourself a nice you know, size baggie and then write on it, because if you're like me you'll forget what this is, and I would put your keto bread slash pancake mix or waffle if you got a waffle iron it's all the same all right now it does take some ingredients and i am sorry but try to get this in, in any way shape or form you can it is iso pure uh, whey protein powder it has zero carbs and it comes with a nifty little scoop which I seem to have lost. <laughs> Where is my nifty little scoop? There was supposed to be a scoop. Ah, oh, it's aggravating. I've lost my scoop. Okay. In the absence of the scoop, let's just do equal parts because that's what the scoop was for anyway. I'm not going to do, you can use anything. I'm going to use this. Um, which probably holds about the same amount as the scoop, about four tablespoons or so, maybe three. Uh, like I said, all you do to change it up to waffles is to put some sugar, sweetener, of some form in it. I'm being attacked. Oh my gosh. I'm being attacked. Help! Help me! <laughs> ah, bad cat. You are ornery. All right, I may never get this vlog done. All right, I gotta get back to work at six. I don't get off until noon tomorrow, so <laughs> okay, I have to do this one in a hurry. It's almost four o'clock. All right, hair out of my eyes. Pull yourself together. Here we go. A scoop of ISO Pure whey protein powder. And as always, I'm gonna be so exact with these measurements. Okay, scoop of that. Now you have to get yourself some oat fiber. This is zero net carbs. It's 26 fiber and 26 carbs and they negate each other. Okay? Go with an equal amount of oat fiber. Where do you get the oat fiber? Where else? Amazon. As soon as my son fixes me up, I'm going to link it below. Okay. So there. In the bag. With the ISO Pure. Then I'm going to do about half the amount or a little less of psyllium husk fiber, okay? Now you're going to have to get this. I don't know if it's a have to, but it sure seems to help. And that is beef gelatin. This is really good for ketoers, yeah, for your health and everything. And um, I think you can just use regular plain non-flavored gelatin and would do the same out of the store. But if you can find the beef gelatin, again, on Amazon, I gotta get those links. Uh, put in to this much, I would say a teaspoon. You're not talking, like it's not your main ingredient. It's just to help it kind of gel up and stand up and stay together. All right, those are your dry ingredients. And of course you want something to make it rise. So you're going to pick up your baking powder. I got double acting here and put in a nice big teaspoon 
And Grandma says things would not be good without what? With, without salt. So we're going to throw in, you know, a generous or so teaspoon of salt. And there's your mix. That's it. All right. Now, shake it around, carry it with you, and when you need to use it, or want to use it, but need, I absolutely need a waffle now. I don't know. Uh, when you need to use it, I'm, I'm lid dyslexic. I have different lids on different things. You add, if you're going to make this whole thing, which really, you probably don't want to, but let's say half. You divide it in half. Look at that half. All right. <laughs> Take half of it. Add two eggs, two tablespoons of butter or coconut oil, just some fats of some sort, good fats, and two eggs, and then just add water until it's like a pancake consistency, and then let it sit a while because that psyllium husk fiber is going to have it thicken a little bit more, and it's a relatively thick almost a cake batter type consistency. Put it in your waffle maker or drop it in your hot pan that's greased and smear it around for a pancake or a fry bread. This actually, this absolutely works and it is near, near zero carbs because of the fibers and things in there. So I can't, I think it's zero carbs to tell you the absolute truth. Net carbs. All right, so take it easy on the breads, but enjoy because we all need something to put a hamburger on or a little syrup. And my favorite syrup, zero carb, is simply pure fresh cream butter with a sweetener and maple flavoring. Mix it together, pour it on generously. My second favorite is cream cheese and butter with sweetener and vanilla melted together for like an icing on top of pancakes and waffles. Those are my little treat tips and things that uh, keep you going on the keto diet. So don't forget to like, share, or subscribe. I love you all. I'm here to support you, and I am blessed that you are here to support me. Thank you so much. Have a great week. I'm going to be working this long shift, got a short shift, and then I'm going back and doing a 24-hour so. It's going to be difficult for me to get these uploaded. I have one shorty waiting, and then I hope to get this one to you by Friday. <laughs> Love y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs> Did I not put that in there? Oh, I'm going crazy. I haven't had enough sleep. Forgive me. Everybody's going, you didn't put it in, Grandma. It'll never rise without the baking powder. Oh, I'm just so good at making these. No wonder I don't have 1,500 subscribers yet. No one loves me. I'm just here out here alone.